Hello YouTube, I'm your sweet engineer and I'm back again in the video. So, um, Manchester United 1, Swansea 2. Uh, seriously, I'm laughing. Do you know why I'm laughing? I'm not even sad because I was expecting us to lose this. Swansea are a very tough, op tough opposition. Um, although I predicted Manchester United to win in my prediction video, obviously in my head I knew that we would we would lose. Um, it's not, I mean, not obviously because I obviously I want to predict that we would win because as a Manchester United fan, but realistically I knew that we we would lose this. So. 2-1 to them, they have now, Gary Monk has now beaten us three times in a row, um, he's played three games, won three games against us, with the same scoreline, 2-1, so uh, IU scored, and then Gomez scored, and then Matis scored, uh, I mean Matis scored uh, just after half time for us, so 2-1 to them, Swansea recovered from a goal down, our strikes from Andre IU and Buffy, Timby, Gomez, uh, Gomez inflicted Manchester United's first defeat of the season. After an entertaining but goalless first half, Juan Mata stole in at the far post to convert Luke Shaw's cross. But Swansea countered with the IU losing his marker to head in before Gomez latched onto Ghana international pass to slip him a second. A superb challenge from Ashley Williams denied Wayne Rooney late on. More to follow. So basically, um, this was our lineup, and I was really happy with this lineup, and I thought we would dominate. But first of all, he didn't show up. He was rubbish. Blin played okay, not good. Uh, Schneider and Schwarzenegger played good, to be honest, Mata played good, Herrera played good, Memphis and Rooney, they were just nowhere to be seen, I mean, seriously, for me, Memphis and Rooney still haven't proved themselves yet in the Premier League so far, um, especially Memphis, I mean, there's so much hype around him, and I know he takes time to sell, but he, he looked like a ghost, I mean, when Ashley Young came on the, for like last five minutes or something, he looked better than Memphis the whole game, so the stats were 64% possession to Manchester United, 36% to Swansea, and that just proves that possession doesn't win you games, and I think Louis Van Hal needs to change his tactics, or we need to change Louis Van Hal because seriously, the football we're playing right now, um, this, so far the football that we've been playing, even though we won, won against Tottenham, we won against Aston Villa, we drew against Newcastle, which we should have won our home, to be honest. The football we're playing is not attacking, it's not attacking based, it's more of the possession safe sided uh, style of play. We're doing too many side passes, Rooney's not getting onto the ball that much, uh, and I think it's just too too much. Uh, passing going on for no reason. This um, passing is good, obviously, but you need a reason to pass, and we don't have it. We just pass for the sake of it. So we had eleven shots, four on target. They had nine shots, four on target. So that's pretty even. We just had one corner. They had, you know, we fouled fifteen times. They only found six times, which shows that we you know we struggled more. So you know, um, my opinion on this: if we continue playing football like this, sooner or later. Not sooner or later, we did lose. We're gonna be, we're, we're gonna start losing more, as you can see, um, because of this defeat. That means Swansea and Manchester City are the only teams, and Leicester. Sorry, Swansea, Manchester City, and Leicester are the only teams that have been in the Premier League so far. Um, however, Manchester City are the only team to win all their games. But the difference between Manchester United and Manchester City, as you can see already, is the players' team spirit, um, the quality of players that they have now. Especially with Kevin De Bruyne coming to Manchester City, they're going to be they're definitely going to win the league now. They were going to win the league anyway, but Kevin De Bruyne comes and it just further strengthens them. And I'm predicting Manchester City to win the league. Um, as I hate to say that, Manchester United it will be another two or three years before we can win the league again. And I think that's we can only win the league after we you know Louis Van Gaal leaves Manchester United. However, saying that Manchester United are suited to Europe, more suited to European football. Our possession play is more suited to European football. So I do think Louis Van Gaal will go quite far in the Champions League. Um, also in the League Cup, I think we'll go far. But in the Premier League, Van Gaal's tactics just won't work. And I'm I'm gonna stick with that um, by saying that Louis Van Gaal will not be a success in the Premier League. Unfortunately, he will not win the Premier League. Um, and it's not too early to say it. It's not too early because we've been playing this kind of football all of last season as well um, so we definitely need new signings and um, if possible we just need to change the tactics Van Al, Van Al needs to change the tactics Ryan Giggs needs to step up to do something but we need to change our tactics and Sergio Romero just looked awful today I mean seriously I just can't believe Sergio Romero is rubbish rubbish goalkeeper um, hopefully we get another goalkeeper preferably Hugo Lloris but you know oh well transfer deadline day is in Tuesday let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like this video and subscribe for more. See you later.